Hey y'all, my name is Ned. This little guy right here is my dog, Chai, who's come in for a little treat. And today we're gonna be talking about how you can query a Microsoft Power BI dataset with SQL. That's right, SQL against a Microsoft Power BI semantic model. Now I'm gonna try to show you how this works pretty quickly. So we're gonna try to zone in here and get started. So first things first, here I am in Microsoft Power BI. And as you can see, I have a semantic model open called Simple Power BI Template. And it has a table right here. And this table has a singular column. Then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go into a Microsoft Fabric notebook. Now in this notebook, in a Python cell, or I should say a PySpark cell, I'm gonna set Spark configuration settings. And the reason why I'm doing this is so the default catalog for Spark is set to Microsoft Power BI. So that way when I write Spark SQL, it'll go ahead and it'll query the correct catalog, or in this case, probably a driver against the Power BI data set. So let's go ahead and let's run this cell, and then let's try to write our first query. So while this is running, I'm gonna try to get a kind of a step ahead, and I'm gonna click this code cell. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna change it to Spark SQL. Now that I'm in SQL, I'm gonna type show tables, and I'll go from PBI, Dot, and then I'll put a little tick here because my semantic model uh, name has spaces in it and I'll go simple power BI template. And I realize right here that I actually needed to select Spark SQL and I'll run this. And while this is running, what it's gonna do is it's gonna return all of the tables in the data model. And you might notice that there's this table over here that's called underscore metrics. This is where all of the measures that are in the Microsoft uh, Power BI semantic model are going to live. So let's try to go ahead and let's write a query against that table. So I'm gonna go down over here, I'm gonna click this code button and I'm gonna switch it over into Spark SQL. Now that it's in Spark SQL, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go select star from PBI dot and then I'm gonna copy my simple Power BI template right here. And then I'm gonna go dot and then go another tick, underscore metrics. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna run this code. Now, when this code runs, I get an error. So why is this? Well, if you go down here, you might notice that I didn't actually capitalize metrics. So let's capitalize this and then let's run this again. And what you'll see is that it returns all of the columns in the data model, as well as all of the measures. And this is because the metrics table is a bridge table that allows you to reference both the columns and the items in the data model, as well as your actual measures. Now, for those of you that are wondering, yes, you can use aggregate functions still in this SQL, but it won't work for measures. It's essentially just, you can wrap it in an aggregate function and it'll just do nothing. Also, you can use where criteria, although Microsoft, as far as I can find, doesn't actually have a definitive list as to which kind of Boolean where criteria will work in this kind of Spark SQL driver. And just like that, you've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, a straightforward, no nonsense, here's how this works video, please consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up.